Mama Freak on TV again. Thursday got off to a fantastic start because my wife made me breakfast, eggs, bacon, mayonnaise, and braided. Yeah, buddy. So we had to leave a little earlier than we usually do because Chastity had to drop me off at Bit Branding because she started a new job today and I couldn't find my truck first thing this morning. I don't remember where I parked. Oh, there she goes. Okay, so we found the truck and we started making our way out on and about so I can grab me a cup of coffee and then she dropped me off. See you later. You love me? Love you. What? Love you. She love me. So I started making my way upstairs and I had no idea that this was gonna happen. Really? Hilarious. So after the random strip tease from Aaron, uh, got in and surprise, Christian made it back from vacation and asked him a couple questions, but I didn't want to disturb him because I knew he had a lot of work to do. And as usual, after sitting there working for a while, I needed to get in the kitchen and warm this coffee up because it got cold and I don't feel like making it anymore, so I'm just gonna just warm up the coffee that I already had. Racetrack coffee is actually surprisingly pretty good, and this is not a plug or a commercial, I promise. So, sit here, and I'm gonna get this work done and knock it all out as fast as I can. So what I was gonna do, I was gonna go out there and I was gonna talk and I was gonna like, I don't know what I was gonna do or what I was gonna talk about. Really, I just needed to take a break from sitting in front of my computer. Um, I made a lot of progress today, a lot of progress on some projects that would usually take me an extended period of time to get done and I'm happy about that. I'm starting to feel like I'm coming out of my rut. And also another good thing, is that I uh, found a YouTuber's support group, which I'm happy to be a part of. Um, and then I also found uh, that a couple of people actually liked the style that I did yesterday. So I'm gonna keep this thing rolling. I'm gonna keep on pushing the short doc style. So yeah, I'm kinda hungry. And I'm hungry and i'm hungry i got to find some food i got to find some food all right so that concludes the first part of the day and chastity to make her way back to pick me up after a long first day of work and training and she tells me a little bit about this but we have to hurry up and get somewhere so she can pee so we make our way to starbucks so she can go and use the bathroom, and then I ended up driving again. What are you doing? How I end up driving, I have no idea. Love you too. So, today was my first day of my new job at. Yeah, I thought she was gonna say a little bit more, but sometimes she can be a little reserved. We make it home. And now it was time for me to hustle on my side. I had a couple of phone calls to make and I wanted to show Chastity yesterday's vlog. Now I'm sitting here waiting on it to export. And exporting videos out of Final Cut takes so long. I had dinner, Chastity took a nap, and then we started talking about uh, our life and what's next. All right, so. Uh, Can you move that viewfinder? Because I'm going to keep looking at myself. You can't look at yourself. Please don't fall off camera. All right, so Chastity and I have finally come to the conclusion that we're not going to try to have kids until, like, 
at least a full year. We should tell them what we. You should tell them how we got to this decision. We had a big falling out. Oh my uh, gosh! It was not a falling out. It was a falling out. Okay, so what happened was when we got married, we said we were gonna start ha- trying to have kids in June, right? Right. And June came, and I was like, okay, so that means I'm not gonna go get a birth control pack. And he was like, no, go get an- go get another one. And then I was. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that is how it went. And she every time she say this, I feel like she's trying to say that I was saying it cuz I wasn't ready for kids. No, I think what I think what I made was, me upset was I you didn't tell me that you weren't ready yet. Okay. Like you so could have gave me a I, heads up like a month before, you like, know. Like basically what uh, what I'm trying to say, what I was trying to say is that I think like financially we need to wait for a second. What she was pissed off about then was that I waited until it was time for her to go get a new pack of birth control when I was saying, yeah, I don't think we need to I don't think we need to start that right now. Heart crushed. Okay. And so, our dog had just died. Now you make it sound like you're trying to replace the dog with a baby. No. <laughs> we can go buy another dog. But anyways, today. we compromised. Right. You and you really wanted to wait a year, right? Yeah, I really wanted to wait a full year. So like, we at compromised least until, between until, doing it tomorrow and doing it a year. And we came right. Up to, with six, six, six months. months. And now I want this on film <laughs> because I don't want it to seem like I'm extending it. I said six months. So that means around december christmas time will be whenever like we can do like this big reveal say that hey guys we got baby stuff coming uh but she just looked at me and said um i know we said six months but i think we need to go ahead and push it out to seven no more than that yeah seven seven that's good no tomorrow it'll be eight and then the next day it'll be nine no yeah it will because seven's good i feel like because the reason why is because I don't want to have a baby in September or October or August. Because those are reserved. Your birthday, my birthday, anniversary. And before I pulled out the camera and I wanted to document this to make sure that I'm not held accountable if it goes further than this. Is the simple fact that she said everybody deserves their own month. <laughs> they do. Everybody deserves their own month. My brother and I, our birthdays are six days apart. We're two years and six days apart. We used to have all of our birthday parties together. But then again, even like with a November baby, then in school, like what if their birthday is during the, the break? Then that's good. Then they can have a birthday party. And, and then nobody's going to gonna come to because all their friends are going to be out of town. Well, that'll just suck for them. Then they have family for that. Maybe I'm thinking too deep. After the first kid, I'm pretty sure she won't think about any of this. No, after the first kid, it's on. We're just knocking them out. Because you know how mad I'm going to be if... I feel like my penis is about to be a tool versus... Yeah, you get ready. Because I refuse to get re- like get used to sleeping again. And then, oh, we're having another one. I don't think we'll ever be used to sleeping. So... We'll figure this out. Y'all will find out when we're pregnant. Yeah. Because... But... Go ahead. Nope. Because you can continue to in- interrupt me like you always do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go. No, go ahead. I don't remember what I was going to say. What I was going to say was, is that I appreciate you for watching this. And if you can, comment in the section below of the video to actually say and solidify that you've watched this part. That way that you can hold her accountable for the date that she set, not the date that and I And also set. tell us the month that we should have our, like, start trying for our baby. Like, start trying, meaning that not the birthday month. You know, yeah, pick a birthday month. Yeah, pick a birthday month that's not August, September, or October. So, better yet, you know what? We need that we should have had start having, like, Okay, toss like, this idea. All right, then, yeah. Just, we'll so just, just stick to our pick, six pick the best month based off of when your birthday is and put that in the description and also co-sign on what I said. Boom. Shout out to DJ Quads for the music. Thank you for watching. And please, please, please click the subscribe button so you won't ever miss another one of my videos. Uh, we put up one every single day, or at least we try to really, really hard. All right. Thanks. And hope to see you guys back here tomorrow.